We'll talk about these really fascinating uh, prime numbers known as Mersenne primes. And the idea is actually really simple. Consider n an integer. Take 2 to the n. From that quantity, take away 1. If that turns out to be a prime number, we have a Mersenne prime. So essentially, Mersenne primes just have this very simple structure to them. That is 2 to the n minus 1. If it's a prime, it's a Mersenne prime. And these were named after a French gentleman known as Marin Mersenne, who studied them in the uh, sort of early half of the 17th century. So Mersenne primes have uh, the following structure, where you have 2 to the n minus 1, where n is some integer. So if this quantity here turns out to be a prime number, then it's also referred to as a Mersenne prime. So let's try a few examples. So let's consider n is equal to 1. We'll get 2 to the 1 minus 1, which is uh, just simply 1, which is not a prime number. So if n is equal to 2, we get 2 to the 2 minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, which gives us 3, which is a prime number. So 3 is a prime number. And it also follows the structure, so 3 turns out to be the first Mersenne prime. With uh, n is equal to 3, we get 2 to the 3 minus 1, which is 7, which is also a prime, and hence also a Mersenne prime. With n is equal to 4, we get 2 to the 4 minus 1, which is 15, which is not a prime n is equal to 5, so you have 2 to the 5 minus 1, which is uh, 32 minus 1, which is 31, which is a prime number. n is equal to 6, gives us 2 to the 6 minus 1, which is 64 minus 1, is 63, which is uh, not a prime. n is equal to 7, uh, gives us 2 to the 7 minus 1, which is uh, 128 minus 1, which is uh, 127, which is a prime number and uh, is also a Mersenne prime. So in fact, the first four Mersenne primes are 3, 7, 31 and 127. So as is the case that uh, with most of our videos, what we do is we leave you with a question. We leave you with something to do uh, yourself. So in that same spirit, we will again leave you with a question. And the question is the following. Can you find the first eight Mersenne primes? In fact, uh, we have already found the first four Mersenne primes for you. And the question here is, can you go ahead and find the first eight Mersenne primes? So effectively, you just need to find the next four Mersenne primes.